Feliz Cinco de Mayo! Today is Cinco de Mayo. We are going to be making two crafts. We are going to make some fun little sombreros and we're going to make paper flowers too. And we're going to put the two videos together for you. Both of them are super easy. Things you can use from your house to make. But they're fun and colorful and the kids will like them. Basically for this one you need a plate, a cup, some pipe cleaners or maybe ribbon or yarn, whatever you have at home little balls or bells or glitter, anything like that. Some yellow paint, or if you have already painted yellow, lovely yellow plates or cups, you can use that. First thing you're gonna do is glue the cup to the plate, right in the middle, just put it on there. Next thing you're gonna do is take your yellow paint and paint your sombrero nice and bright yellow. Then you're gonna take your pom-poms and glue them on. They can glue them on however they want to and put your fun red, white and green pipe cleaners on. Then you have a fun little sombrero. You can use it for a centerpiece tonight at Taco Tuesday for your Cinco de Mayo celebration. Chips on it, whatever you want. Hang it as a little decoration. Super quick, super easy, but fun for the kids. All right. Hey guys, I promised you two crafts. So we're gonna make these very fun tissue paper flowers next. This does require help from the adult. It is a little more difficult because the paper does rip, but they end up making really pretty flowers. And these can double as a Mother's Day bouquet, dads. Hello. All right, so first you take your sheets of tissue paper. It's a little windy, sorry. They're typically this size. You're just gonna cut them in half. I layered six of them. You can do anywhere from three to 10, depending on how fluffy you want your flower. Six worked perfect. Then you're just gonna take your cool paper and you're gonna accordion fold it back and forth. This is great fine motor for the kids. So you just go back and forth all the way to the end of the paper. And it doesn't matter really how big it is. You don't want it to be too big of an accordion fold. Otherwise your flowers will be a little shaped funky and you want them to be as fluffy as possible. So you just go all the way down till it looks like that. Then you fold it in half, you take your scissors, you cut on the fold two little triangles so that when you open it, you have a center. It doesn't have to be perfect. There's absolutely no rocket science to this. And then depending on how you want it shaped, you can cut a nice little curve around it. Depends on how type A you are, a perfectionist. And then you're gonna take your pipe cleaner and you wanna make sure that this is the top of your flower. So you wanna put your stem here, twist your twist tie around cause this is gonna hold everything together and then it will look like this. And then once you're done, you open it up and then you pull each layer apart. Go around your half circle, then go to your next layer, pull it apart. And then once you've done all your six, then you do the other side. They really are pretty. You can do any color you want. You can have rainbow ones, you can have pink. Tissue paper really is the best for this, um, just because it's thin. Construction paper will not work and normal paper will not work either. Then you move over to the other side and see how it fluffs up so nice. Then once you're done pulling them all apart, you have your fun flower. It's that easy. You can make hundreds of them, but dads, come on. Good Mother's Day gift idea here. All right, guys, this was Cinco de Mayo activity. I hope you have a great day. It's a nice sunny day. Thank you guys. Bye.